Hello and welcome to Programming Knowledge. So this is a part two of the hosting of Citic website on AWS. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create S3 bucket policy and initial setup. So we are now in our S3 bucket. So as you can see, we have uploaded uh, files. So go in properties and click on static website hosting. In this, click on use this bucket to host a website. And here you have to give as index.html and uh, for error, you can give error.html. Okay, then click on save. So our S3 bucket is set up for the static website hosting. Now go in permissions. Here our public access is blocked. So we have to unlock it. So click on bucket policy. So in here, we have to type our uh, bucket policy or the S3 bucket. S3 bucket policies actually provides us uh, a way to manage the access permission for the bucket resources. We'll click on documentation and AWS provides some uh, demo bucket policies. So we'll go in bucket policy examples. And here you can see in the sidebar, they have given different permissions for different uh, users. So we'll click on granting read only access to anonymous user. So this is for the public access. So this will provide only read only access to the public. So we'll copy that and then we'll paste it here. Okay, in here, uh, in the last line on the resource tab, we have to provide our uh, domain name. So it is programming knowledge.ga. So I'll copy it from the top. Okay. And uh, after copying, we'll play, uh, paste it here. Okay. Keep in mind, keep forward slash and star after the domain name. Okay, error, access denied. So we'll go and block public access. So here, for this only it is blocking the access. So we'll untick that to block all public access and then and we will save it. You have, to, you have to type confirm for the changes to be saved and then press con continue, okay. So a public access is provided for the bucket. So we have to type again, we will copy and paste it again. Okay, just change it uh, as a programming knowledge.ga forward slash then star. We click on save. Okay, so you can see the, uh, the warning has come that bucket has a public access, but it's okay. The, uh, that is how the public can access this particular S3 bucket. So now we'll go in properties and click on static uh, website hosting. Here you can see the endpoint, click on that endpoint and you can get the S3 bucket content. So this is the index.html page. So you can see report for portfolio, it will go to the tab and then about and the content section. Okay. So we have to route this uh, S3 bucket to our domain. So for that, we have to go in uh, CloudFront. So before that, I will show you the architecture of our uh, static website hosting on AWS. So this is the user. So it will request and the request will go to Route 53 that manages the DNS management. So one thing to note here is that Route 53 charges some amount for creating a new hosted zone. So if you are working for a client, then it's okay. And if you are a, just a hobbyist or a student, then uh, you have to take into consideration that it will charge you some amount. So it can be around uh, $1 per month. Then the Route 53 will uh, forward this request to CloudFront distribution. CloudFront distribution is a content delivery network offered by the AWS. So it provides a globally distributed network, proxy servers, which cache the content, such as in our case, website. And uh, it improves the access speed of the website so that the users can access the website very easily. And the CloudFront distribution has a cache of the website. So CloudFront is uh, provided with the certificate manager. So 
we have to include the certificate from certificate manager or we can also import the certificate if you have bought the certificate from outside and the CloudFront in turn will get the content from the S3 bucket. So now we'll go for creating the CloudFront distribution. So in here, we go in services and click on CloudFront. Okay, it will open a new tab. We'll wait for some time till it loads. Here we have to select create a distribution. Okay, we select web, get started. We need to provide the origin to be anyway. So don't select the origin path. It depends on S3 bucket. Go. We'll go in S3 bucket and we'll go in properties and here you can see the endpoint. So we have to copy this particular endpoint URL without the HTTP. Okay, the site looks good. Okay, so copy the, the endpoint URL without without the HTTP. And now paste it here as original origin domain name. When you first come here, you will get it in the drop down, but don't select that. We have to provide this endpoint of the S3 bucket to the uh, origin, and then we'll create a distribution. If you select the one which is uh, provided in the drop down, then error will come in the later st stages. So in, you can see that uh, the status is in progress. So CloudFront will uh, take some time to deploy it. So we'll go in the general and then uh, we'll add uh, our alternative name, domain name. So our alternative domain name is programming.ga. So we have to provide it to the cloud front distribution so that it can route the traffic to the particular domain name. So copy paste the uh, programming knowledge.ga, then we'll select custom SSL. So we'll import a certificate from the Amazon certificate manager. So they provide free certificate for the our website. So type of domain name. So programming knowledge dot j. Okay. Then uh, then click on next. Then we are doing DNS validation domain name system. So click on next. We confirm and continue. And so a request is in progress. So the uh, certificate manager will check if our domain name or is exist or not so for that it takes some time so actually i had already created a record set in uh, route 53 so i will delete that okay so now while it is pending click on the programming knowledge.ga domain and here you can see uh, it is in pending and then here you can see that uh, a record set is provided we have to copy paste this in uh, route 53 so that uh, the traffic will be routed to the domain name from our CloudFront distribution. So here you can see only two records are there. One is name server record, another one is SOA, start of authority. So after refreshing also you can see that only two. Now we can just create record as a record on route 53. So here you can see it, it will automatically copy it into the route 53. So click on create. Okay, now come here and uh, we have to refresh. So here you can see one more record is added. That is a record type as C name. C, can, C name is alternative domain name for the CloudFront distribution. Okay, so we'll wait for the certificate to be validated against our domain name. So we'll go in programming knowledge.ga or domain name. Let me just type it out first. Programming knowledge dot ga. So you can see that it is not uh, it is still giving an error because the routing is not properly done till now. So you can also try with putting www dot knowledge.ga but will not load so we'll wait until this request is completed so i'll just pause the video 
it usually takes two or four minutes for the certificate to be validated against the domain name. So you can see the validation status is success. So our certificate is applied to our domain name. Okay. Keep in mind that uh, the certificate manager will be only be allowed to create in the North Virginia region. So if you are on a different region like Mumbai or something else, just change it to North Virginia and create the certificate. Otherwise your certificate will not be valid. 